Live at Joey's Talented Tuesdays. Jeff Mick. Yes. Yeah. My name is Justin McLeod. How the fuck is that? That's fine. I, I'm not important. Obviously. What's up? Anybody here? Any of you guys like to get laid at the bar? Anybody here to do that? Yeah. I, used to, I used to dabble in it. Um, but mainly when my self esteem was nice and low, okay? So I didn't go after the best ladies. I usually like to find a girl with a nice underbite on her. Just a healthy, just, uh, like. Might have made out with her cousin, or cousin, kind of underbite. Family tree shaped like a wreath. That's, that's the style of lady I like. Um, two reasons. They're already pretty easy. They're already pretty ugly. And they're not easy. They're about to be. Because they're easy to get drunk. That thing hanging off their chin just acts like a liquor tray. They only see a shot coming. Let's go up to the like, hey, sweetheart, you want to do a shot? You're doing our cousin. Blue, too late. <laughs> Hey, honey, you wanna do a shot? I don't get drunk with my daddy. Bloop, bloop, too late. Five or six bloops later, and your dick sucked in the back of your ball scratched at the same time. <laughs> By your teeth. Uh, it's gonna get worse. Uh, you guys, you like vaginas? Woo! Me like too. Big fan of vaginas. But they're not without their downside. I really, I feel they're to blame for women being cold all the time. Okay. It works just like a radiator. They're very physically and functionally similar, you know? The bigger your radiator, and the more fins it has, the more heat it dissipates. The bigger your vagina, the more folds it has, the more heat's gonna get out of that thing. Okay. And take notes, guys, because this is a pussy through dynamics 101, and you can use this in day-to-day -day life. You'd be out on a date with a new lady friend and a shitty microphone. Huh? <laughs> be out on a date with a new lady friend. <laughs> Let's say it's 95 degrees out sweltering. She starts complaining about being cold outside. In the date. Just in the date, because you don't want to see what she's got going on downtown. It's going to be a baseball mitt with a brain in it. <laughs> it's too much gum to chew. Oh, oh, oh. You choke on that much pussy, huh? That's what my mom taught me. Yeah. I was making romance with a large waitress from Bob Evans. And uh, she got mad at me. She said, Justin, that's dangerous. I was like, come on, Mom. It says right in the motto, Bob Evans going down on the phone. Oh, uh, what should I close with? Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, I think there's too many Greek people in Flint. Uh, came to my Came my attention the other day, I was there to buy some crack. It's wild, where do you go? Uh, it's Flint, Michigan. And uh, I'm not saying it's not convenient though, I rolled up on the crack spot. I was like, let me get a 20 rock and a box of box. Hands it over with the quickness. Hands over with the quickness. If I start rolling down the block, start sniffing out this crack rock. Smells a little funky. Smells a lot like feta cheese, okay? I'm not gonna complain to a Greek drug dealer, okay? That's how Euro meat gets made, all right? It's not pork, it's not beef, it's people. But, uh, so I put it in my, my pipe to try it out, go to fire it up, opa! Because it was indeed cheese. That's the sound it makes when you light it on fire. But, uh, you know, I was like, I'm gonna forget about this, and go get some weed, roll the weed spot, get some weed, go home, roll a joint. Guy sold me a bag of lettuce. So I get stuck eating a $40 Greek salad. It's terrible. Is mom back there? Are you ready to take me off yet? No? Keep going? Huh? <laughs> oh gosh, you guys are going to really like this one. I, uh, I spent a lot of time unemployed, and uh, I miss my friends, you know. I had some sweet friends who used to swing by my place on the way out of town. Come over and like, what's up, Justin? I'm going to miss you, man. I was like, you don't have to miss me, friend. When you're on a business trip, because we can chit-chat online. You know, maybe even Skype, video chat, and masturbate together? What? He's like, whoa, man, I, I'm not gay. I'm like, me either, man. It's not gay if we're racing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just some friendly competition. 
some very friendly competition. Unless, of course, if first place comes in second place. That'd be great. That always gets broken. That one's for me. I do that one just for me. <laughs> What else is great about Flint? Halo Burger is great. Halo Burger is shit. Halo Burger is great. The reason why the beef is so good is because they're not butchered in traditional traditions or traditional methods. They're butchered in tried and true tradition developed in Flint. There's people, you know, the cow never sees coming. It's called a drive by. Just roll up on the cow, break yourself, bovine, boo that! Delicious hamburgers. You got enough ammo? Don't even gotta grind the burger. Just boom! Five delicious hamburgers. Let the nine do the grind. All right, I'm just in the pot. I'm out of here. Thanks. Give it up for Marlon, the host. Well, live at Joey's. Oh yeah.